In Japan, many people suffer from hypertension. How can the health of these people be monitored? There is a project using IoT to tackle this issue. Its name is Impact, Ultra Big Data Platform for Reducing Social Risks. Here we will introduce the home healthcare system developed as a part of this project. Here you can see many small boxes. Each is a little smaller than a 5 centimeter cube and weighing about 80 grams. They're a communication device, a gateway that links a patient to the cloud. They can use three different wireless communication standards, Y Sun Han, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Y Sun Han can transfer data over a distance of up to one kilometer. When switched on, gateways communicate with each other to set up a network automatically. On the other hand, Bluetooth can communicate over a distance of up to 10 meters and is used for communication by devices located close to a gateway. Gateways can also communicate with each other using Wi-Fi, biometric data, which are needed to predict if a patient has a potential problem, are sent using highly reliable Y Sun Han. And supplementary information is sent using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth control information is sent via Y Sun Han. In this house, gateways have been installed at eight locations, including the living room, kitchen, bedroom, Japanese-style room, bathroom, and entrance. A communication device for LTE, Mobile Telephone Link, is attached to the gateway, located near the center of the house, for connection to the cloud. By combining multiple communication standards, a wireless network covering the entire house can be established instantly. Now, let me introduce the devices that will be connected to the network. This is an environment sensor. One is connected to each gateway to monitor the air temperature and humidity of each room. The environment sensor in the bedroom additionally measures atmospheric pressure and illuminance because the level of brightness in the bedroom is important data. Here you can see an ambulatory blood pressure monitoring device and a wristband activity monitor. In addition to measuring blood pressure, this device can measure waveform data of intracuff pressure, air temperature, atmospheric pressure, and acceleration. Patients can measure their blood pressure at home using the device, once in the morning and again in the evening. This device can provide a 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure profile, including while sleeping. The wristband activity monitor measures pulse, pulse wave, number of steps taken while walking, sleep duration, and calorie consumption. The patient wears it all the time. Lastly, we have a weight scale that patients use to measure their weight each day. The measured data are sent to the network via the wristband. The patient can lead a normal life. Even as the patient moves around the home, data are sent without loss. Gateways share pairing information with each other using Y Sun Han, 
so that the wristband is connected to the nearest gateway automatically as the patient moves around. In this way, a range of biometric data are sent to the cloud, allowing the patient's state of health and lifestyle to be constantly monitored. An enormous amount of data from all over the country is gathered in the cloud. The data are analyzed by doctors and used to detect abnormal values. Doctors can evaluate the patient's condition at a glance by viewing the data uploaded to the cloud via the Internet. This is the 24-hour blood pressure data at the last measurement. Overall, the average value only slightly exceeds 120 millimeters of mercury even during the daytime. The overall blood pressure level and the 24-hour rhythm are both normal. There are no so-called surges. If the patient's blood pressure or pulse wave indicates any abnormal symptoms, a healthcare system incorporating big data analysis results detects the change in the condition and sends a notification mail to the doctor in charge of the patient. The doctor checks the data, contacts the patient, and can give advice about what kind of medical intervention is appropriate to prevent the condition from becoming serious. This technology can be applied to a wide range of fields, such as home security, regional infrastructure management, and environmental measurements. This project will promote IoT penetration in society and enhance the public's health and welfare. <laughs>